<sighs> I always get nervous recording videos like this. And do you want to know why? Do you want to know why? Because I know a certain someone is going to be watching right now. One of my friends loves to fucking shit on me when I make these kind of videos. It is what it is. He's too busy getting pegged, but... My name's Robbie Melville. I'm a self-improvement YouTuber. I cover a variety of different topics. Uh, I usually introduce myself as Skinny Penis 453 or whatever. Foreskin Collector, Ball Magnet, whatever you want to call me, you can call me, right? I want to talk about this today. I am what has been known throughout many times in my life as a professional bag fumbler. At least I thought I was. I would always get girls who would like me, but then I wouldn't talk to them or I wouldn't attract them back because I thought I was being too cool, you know what I mean? You fell into that trap. And I was also very scared of being direct and avoiding small talk, etc. So I've not been good with girls in my life, right? I'm just going to keep it completely honest. I've only had one girlfriend that ended two years ago and I've just been single ever since, right? I used to think this was a massive fumble. This was a massive fall on my behalf. And don't get me wrong, it is good to have experience of that degenerate lifestyle to some degree and maybe not let take you too far to the point where you're calling a 4 out of 10 British girl with tons of piercings beautiful but regardless of that I used to think it was a massive fumble what I did but now I'm looking back at it and I'm like nah, I didn't really fumble because ultimately these girls weren't right for me and the reason these girls weren't right is because you start to notice when you act a certain way, you attract a certain type of person. So if I acted like the stereotypical fuckboy who gets a lot of girls, etc. If I acted like that, I would probably get end up getting a lot of emotionally damaged girls who would pretty much be a fucking copy and paste of lover. And I know that sounds horrible to say, but it's true, right? You act a certain way, you get a certain person back. So I've rewired the way I act now, which isn't working towards quantity. But you need to understand, you don't want quantity and you never wanted quantity in the first place, right? You wanted quality. And today in this video, I'm going to break down three green flags that you need to look for so you do not get caught with these women that will drain your soul. Anyway, we'll get straight to it. Number one, this is a massive green flag for me, gym. Why is it the gym? Because it shows that she's not living her life like a piece of shit. It shows that she's at least not scrolling on her phone for 24 hours every single day it shows that there is some dedication obviously she needs to consistently be at the gym so if you go to the gym and there's someone who you notice is there quite a bit there you go there you go you notice someone who is consistent at the gym that's a good trait because it shows consistency that shows she's willing to work on herself it shows that she's consistent it shows that she's somewhat mentally strong in fact no it does show that she's mentally strong because a lot of people, like about 90% of the people you see in your average life aren't in shape. So you got to give her credit for that. That is an extremely good green flag. But obviously, it's not the only one. If this is the only green flag that she's got, bro, I hate to tell you this, but you, you, may, you may suffer a little bit. But that's fine. We're going to break down the other ones. Number two, it's got to be a strong family. If she's got a strong father figure and her dad's in her life, trust me on this. If she's really passionate about her family, she really likes to talk about her family and her dad and her mother, and you can tell that she's proud of them instead of being embarrassed or, oh, my family or this and that, that is a strong green flag. Very strong because it shows that she's family oriented. I'm gonna be honest, I actually never met my ex-girlfriend's family because she stayed in uh, university halls at the time, right, flat and her family stayed on pretty much the other side of Scotland, so I never met them. This is something I actually regret and wish I did, because it's just, the fact that I didn't meet them is kind of crazy, and I'm not gonna lie, I wasn't the perfect boyfriend or anything, but that's crazy, I should have done that. And I know for the next girl I do meet, I'm gonna try and become involved in her family, because you wanna get to know the people that have raised her and she's had in her life for a lot of this time, right? You wanna know what positive influences there's been. You really want to know these things because then you can determine what kind of person she's going to end up being. And the third and final most important green flag, I cannot stress this enough, if she does this, if she acts this way, I can promise you, your life is going to be swell and joyful and you're not going to have to get hit with questions like, would you love me if I was a worm or, oh, why'd you do this? Oh, oh come get it. Oh, trust me, trust me. The number one thing is if she is feminine, if she acts like a woman. If you are dealing with an independent boss bitch who wants to add stress to your life. Oh! No, 
No, my life is stressful enough as it is, darling. Listen, I am producing all these videos every single day. I am editing these videos. I am calling people. I am trying my best to be the most efficient and productive man I can be. I am dedicated to my fitness goals. I'm boxing in October. I have to do a weight cut for that. I have all these things. Do not come into my life and add more stress or get annoyed at me because I didn't text you within three minutes. Please do not do this to me. I just want peace, love and prosperity. Please just give me a little bit of happiness in my life. <laughs> that energy is what I crave because I'm so focused on the mission 24-7, 365. I love the mission, I love the grind, I love my purpose. I want someone who is going to soothe me because then you get a nice relationship in which you benefit from each other because other than that you end up with munchie boxes and four out of ten sex and you never wanted that in the first place right you want a relationship where there's more to desire than sex you desire her nature you desire how comforting she is how calming it is how soothing she is and then she learns a lot from your order and your structure and the way you live your life it's a beautiful balance but a lot of relationships don't have this in the modern day. I can guarantee you right now, I don't even know anything about you on the other side of this, but I can guarantee you right now, you know a relationship where the woman is always bossing the man about and the guy's made out to be stupid. She wears the pants in the relationship. I can guarantee you, you have seen that relationship type so many times. It could be your mum and dad, it could be your best friend and his girlfriend. Uh, you have seen that so many times. You need to make a promise right here, right now, that you're not gonna settle for an average relationship. You want more than that in your life, and I know for a fact you want more than that in your life because you carry yourself to such a high standard with your work and discipline. At least I hope you do. Side tangent to that, to what I just said there, you need to be a strong, independent man and strong enough to know how you are able to conquer these challenges that life has ahead of you. And if you need help with that, my exclusive community Zero to Heroes is in the description below. I really think it's going to benefit and change a lot of men's lives. But regardless of the quick plug, you, can, you must promise yourself you cannot settle for a girl who goes out clubbing all the time. You can't settle for that anymore. You need to settle for greater. You can't settle for someone who does drugs. You cannot settle for this. Just because you've leveled yourself up and know you can get girls does not mean you have to settle for some bang average girl. I know that sounds bad. I know that sounds bad, but it's true. Because a lot of these, a lot of those people in that scene are broken and you do not want to encounter that unless you are entirely sure of your own personal judgment that this is the right move for you to make. But I hope you've learned a lot from this video because trust me, it's a dangerous world out there. A lot of women are like, where are the right men? And a lot of us are asking, where are the white... Where are the white women, Jesus? <laughs> but a lot, of <laughs> a lot of us are asking where the right women are. And the answer to that is, if you are a high value man, if you carry yourself with dignity and grace, you'll attract a woman of dignity and grace. That's all I've got for today, boys. Take care, zero to hero. Link is in the description. I'll see you in a bit, boys. Take care.